is a mini band attached to a four foot pole at the four foot level I should say and she's rotating the arm backwards. We try to do repetitions anywhere from six to ten repetitions. Now she's going to turn away and continue with external rotation or lateral rotation to strengthen the rotator cuff muscle. And you can see she's trying to support the humerus or the elbow with her opposite hand to stabilize the motion. Now she's going to drop the arm down and hold it against her body and externally rotate or laterally rotate to isolate the rotator cuff. And if this is too much tension you can attach two bands together to get less tension. Now she's going to do internal rotation of the opposite arm. And there's an inward pull with the arm stabilized against the body. And the rotator cuff muscles are very small and get fatigued quite easily. Matter of fact, I'm sure they are talking to her right now. And she's going to elevate. As you can see, she's smiling, so it must be burning. And stabilizing with the opposite. So you can do both directions with the same arm, but for demonstration purposes, we switched arms so you can see an internal and external rotation performed. This is highly effective for isolating the small rotator muscles of the shoulder. And this is great for any person who has a one arm dominant sport where they've injured and or irritated that area. It's been weakened to regain strength. Of course we would always implement stretching exercises after we do any strengthening exercises. Now we're going to isolate the deltoid muscles. She has the mini band attached down at the pipe that is six inches off the ground and she's isolating the anterior delt raising her arm out in front of her to approximately parallel to the ground and again anywhere from six to ten repetitions And now she's going to isolate the medial deltoid. Now you can get a slight bend in the elbow if you'd like, if that's more comfortable. And this isolates the three heads of the deltoid muscle. And again, try to stabilize the body. And she's starting to recruit a little bit of the trapezius there. And now we're going to do posterior delt, which is the, s the smaller portion of the deltoid. And of course, her range of motion isn't as good going backwards as it is lateral and forward, but that's normal for most people. And there we go. Strengthening exercises for the three heads of the deltoid. And then we like to do an upright row with a mini band, standing on it, feet about shoulder width apart, bringing it up to the chin. And you can use bigger bands, the light band and or the average band if you need more tension, but this will isolate trapezius and deltoid muscle. There you have it, strengthening the shoulder and rotator cuff muscles.